Twenty Entertainment. This ain't no game, Flash. Hello, everybody. This is D Labs. I'm here to review The Last Boy Scout with guns and explosions and lots of people saying fuck. Oh, yeah. Bruce Willis was riding high on the success of Die Hard 2 and he tried to capitalize as quickly as possible by making this movie. Basically, from what I can see, Bruce Willis took his John McClane character and put him in this movie, but he's more hateful and more depressed, and all the characters around him are really hateful and really depressed. Even the guy's family, his wife and daughter, these people are just as douchey and evil as everybody else. You want some of this ice cream or not? I'm not talking to you. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going to miss all those pleasant things you always say to me. Hey, Dad, I hate you. It's chocolate chip, your favorite. I don't care. You're an asshole. Okay, so the plot goes like this. Bruce Willis is a PI slash bodyguard that's hired to protect this girl that apparently is blackmailing somebody else that ends up killing her, so they go on a big investigation to find out what the fuck's going on. Fuck, man, I'm so good at explaining movie plots. <laughs> so the sidekick in this movie is Damon Wayans. So this is like Die Hard 3 before Die Hard 3. He's a pretty funny character and he has some good one-liners and some good action moments, but Bruce Willis here steals the show. Because he is the star of the movie, but every minute that passes in the film, his life gets crappier. If you touch me again, I'll kill you. baby! <laughs> also, if you want a really good action movie, you need really good bad guys. And this movie's full of a bunch of fucking degenerates, and there's two villains, basically. There's the boss, which I ain't gonna say who it is. And then there's Milo. This guy's a psychopath, but he's hilarious. What would you do, Joseph, if somebody told you to go fuck yourself? Would you cut one of their eyes out? Now, I know this movie is made in the early 90s, but all the action scenes and the gunfight scenes, they still feel like the late 80s. And they're ultra violent and they're so cool to watch. Oh, yeah, man, that 80s action goodness right there. Ah. And because of the two characters, Damon Waynes and Bruce Willis, move from location to location so quickly. There isn't much downtime before the next action scene or gunfight or comedy bit. Why did Mr. Milo cross the road? I don't know why. Because his dick was stuck in a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and the music or the soundtrack in this movie is perfect because it has that 80s cheesy goodness that I love so much. Especially the first song that Friday night's a good night for football. <laughs> that, that's a good song. I like that. I always dance around when I hear that song. So overall, this is a really entertaining movie. Almost a montage of action flicks of the 80s and remind you of how great they were. Basically taking all the good action scenes of the 80s and throwing them all in this movie with a little bit of spice of Bruce Willis. But realistically, it all comes down to chemistry. Willis and Damon, they have chemistry. They're funny when they're together. They work off each other really well. And yes, there are a few things in this movie that slow things down. Like the wife having an affair and the child sneaking on one of the investigations. Now, I'm not stupid. I know they added these scenes to show the emotional attachment he has to his family. But still, it just added on to the length of the movie. Because it would have made this film flow so much better than having that shit drag it down all the time. So I shall rate this movie an 8.5 out of 10. That's what it gets, and that's what it deserves. Also, I'd like you all to do me a favor. If you look in the description, you'll see a link that will take you to a review that I did with my good buddy Redneck. It's Back to the Future NES review, and it's awesome. Please check it out. 
I did a great job. He did a great job. Everybody does a great job. Please check it out. It's in the description. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed the review. Have yourself a great night.